are. Thank you for setting up the camera. Uh, so we just saw Priscilla, the new Sofia Coppola film. Uh, what did you think, Nat? I wanted to watch it. I liked it. Uh-huh. <laughs> is that, like, is no, that it? no, it's not that I didn't like it. It's that like I, my immediate thought, which I told you when we were in the theater, is uh -huh. I want to go back and watch it again because it's a good Coppola film. It's yeah, Sofia Coppola. It's, She's, it's very subtle. All her stuff is very rewatchable as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I would like to say is I wish AMC would look into soundproofing their theaters because the entire I time. Just need to fi figure out the speakers. The Taylor Swift movie was playing next to us. It was playing next to us, but. Yeah. It, it was so loud that the entire oh, yeah, time I was, was like watching Priscilla. It was shaking our theater. It was like the reverb from all the bass and the music. It was crazy. So I recommend it was insane. sitting in the middle. I recommend sitting in the middle, and I recommend not seeing it when the Taylor Swift movie is playing. But that might not I, be I possible. Think that's kind of difficult. That yeah. thing's made like hundred million. Oh god, the movie's making a ton yeah. of money. But I really like this movie. I think Priscilla was. It's weird saying this because all of Coppola's movies are good, but like it's probably one of her better movies too. Yes. But like it's a really, really good focused biopic, which um, she does well. She did Marie Antoinette, which is a biopic. Virgin Suicides kind of is one, no, even it's if not. even oh, no, no, but it's not a biopic, but it's it is a character focused film. Yeah. Yeah. But it's an adapted screenplay. It's yeah. Not. Yeah, it's not like a, which I guess Priscilla is also a, a character is also well, it's adapted. Not, um, but adapted for a memoir. Yeah, 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 that's kind of different. And you noticed Priscilla, Priscilla Presley was the executive producer. She was, yeah. yes, which, um, I, I thought she had passed away for some reason. I didn't know she was still with us. Uh, Elvis died, yeah. He did die, yeah. Also, he was ten years older ten than year, this he, child. Oh, God, I wanted to smack him. They I wanted to smack him so hard. 14 and 24. And he is so disgusting and awful. In Germany, awful. he was deployed. I forgot Elvis was in the military. He was, he was in the army for a while. Um, and Priscilla's parents were like, yeah, it's fine if you date this. It's fine if you date this man. grown man. You're, you're a ninth grader. Like, they kind of so resisted it a little bit. But, like, bit barely. They're like, don't you do that. And yeah. he's been through, like, like... She doesn't have a driver's license. He he calls her dad, and then he's like, all right. <laughs> like, it's barely yeah. anything. There's, like, no resistance from the parents. I... So I've watched and I've watched a lot of To Catch a Predator, <laughs> the TV show with Chris Hansen catching like sexual deviants and stuff. And he always uses every gosh dang trick in the book to manipulate and just, oh God, he does everything all those guys do to Priscilla. And it's so, I couldn't watch it at points. You saw me. I couldn't watch this movie at points because I hated him so much. I hated yeah. him so much it's, by the end of this. What's interesting about the movie, I was thinking about this, is uh -huh. like, you don't want them to be get together because she's a child. Like, he actually calls her a baby at one point. He's like, oh, you're 14, you're just a baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. She's also small, too. She's like, incredibly small. She's a little small. person, so not only... Um, but is he also just a very tall man? Like, the... I think he's normal tall. I don't think... Let me look. How like, tall is the actor? I don't know how big Elvis think, uh, was, too. Like, I'll look up both. I think Elvis well, I, I was think pretty he tall. I about your size. Oh. Yeah. How short is she? Three feet then? <laughs> like she's, the, she's, the, act, the actress is 5'1". I don't oh know how tall goodness. actual Priscilla is. Yeah. Let me look up Priscilla Presley height first. But he, he, they frame everything really well in this movie just to get across. Just like with the visual depiction of how tall he is and how short she is. Okay, Priscilla Presley is 5'4". Okay. He is six foot, so he's just a bit taller. Than okay, him. yeah. So he's a pretty tall guy. Yeah. And so she's like, really small. Oh, that's um our height difference basically. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But like it's also not just like the height difference, it's just the way they frame everything, like yeah. the power dynamic that they frame with the size of them. So the actress they got to play Priscilla, I looked her up. It's what else has she been in? Something for you. She's a Euphoria girl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I haven't watched it, but that was the first thing that popped up when I Googled, um, Googled her. get you in more, because uh, you're the pretty one. You're the pretty one. <laughs> but this is, I, what I really liked about the movie, too, and you pointed this out. We actually talked to a guy um, out of the theater about yeah, the movie a little he bit. He hadn't seen it yet. He yeah, he hadn't seen it yet. So we couldn't. And yeah. you mentioned that, like, the movie does really get, It doesn't make you hate Elvis. I just hate him because I hate guys no, like just, this. Like, it, it just shows you... It sets up a lot of images. Mm -hmm. like, Sophia Coppola, she's really big on images. She'll just show you something. Yeah. And then you draw your own conclusions. And that's what they do with his character, where, like, mm -hmm. you don't really sympathize with him, but you understand, like, this is a very childish and lonely man. 
Like this man has never grown up. This man in pri it never did really grow up. Like they show him doing all these like childish fun activities that are, and they frame it with her childlike spirit that she still has because she's a kid effectively. But she, she never- She's a kid, not effectively, she's a child. No, no, but I mean, even when she's an adult because she never gets to experience her youth because it's really just stolen from her by this guy. She doesn't get to have friends. She doesn't get to like go out and just have normal experiences. Her entire life is framed through what does Elvis want me to do? What does this guy I want? Even tells her, like, there's this one scene um, where she's like, oh, there's this boutique where I could work after school because her parents sent her to like, I think Memphis where yeah. she lives to like live with him when she's 17. It's insane. Yeah. It's crazy. And like I know, uh, I know some of this. Her in high school there because she hadn't graduated because she's seventeen. I I've watched. I know a little bit about Elvis just like because he's an American icon. But I don't know that much. But some of this, I was like, she wasn't even done with high school. Like she was still taking her finals and going through some classes. Like he couldn't wait to rob the like. Let her graduate before you rob the cradle. Like come on, dude. Are you serious right now? They're always taking drugs. <laughs> they're taking they there's so many drugs in this movie they took any i i'm sure if you know more about drugs you recognize them we only knew it when they showed us the bottle yeah, like oh that's LSD. well i knew he was taking i knew as soon as he was dropping on like oh that's lsd oh i didn't know also this was that was in like the mid 60s that's when lsd became like that's when the beatles were getting into lsd and spirituality and stuff like i knew like for a while Elvis was kind of like a super spiritual spiritual guy like oh, yeah, that, that we saw that new agey wave too. yeah um the guy who plays Elvis is great in this. Mm -hmm. He really does nail the performance. He narrows, He one thing he does really well is the um, the inflection of Elvis. Elvis mm -hmm. had a slight stutter whenever he started to speak. Another thing. And he, he, he it's very subtle. He didn't, whenever he started to stutter, he wouldn't look people in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's a subtle little thing like that, which is something Elvis actually had. And it, it's, it's just a little way to show just how insecure Elvis really is with the lighting too oh yeah go ahead whenever they were shot together she does a great job with silhouettes she's so good there's at that like um, another thing so you know how he's always reading in bed yeah they don't have any lights on for the aesthetic it's so funny <laughs> i know he's like, it too i was like it's like, hilarious he's like wearing his glasses i'm like maybe turn on a light buddy <laughs> it's all warm lights it's very low lights it's mostly it's mostly warm lights the whole time the only time you get cold lights are when he's performing mm -hmm. and then like there's the lsd scene everything's like pink and orange <laughs> But I like that they um, they also have, like span a very long amount of time in the movie, and they do it really well. And they the pacing in this movie is good. The one thing Coppola, Sofia Coppola, gets away with that many directors can is her movies never really have any acts. Her movies was, never really have a first I middle. Bring up that up because like this. Is, but it works well. Like she can do it without it. This is based on a memoir, so yeah. like you're not gonna get the arc. Yeah. Because that doesn't happen. But I think her. Her better movies are the ones where she doesn't try to play in an arc structure, uh -huh. where she doesn't try to play in any kind yeah, of like beginning, I think middle, the only and end. One we saw where there is a structure like that. What's the one where they're the like beguiled? The beguiled, yes. That was a remake of an older movie. That yeah, was a Clint Eastwood film. Yes, it was. Yeah. and I think that's one of her, probably her weakest movie I've seen of hers. It doesn't feel like a Coppola film. It doesn't. It, it's a weird choice for her too. Like I don't yeah. really get why she made it. I think it's just. I don't know, maybe something about the. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the Nicole original Kidman's movie. In it. You she like is. In it. I do like Nicole. Uh, you, hey, I made sure to. I had to leave the theater right before the movie started just to grab the some Nicole snacks. Kidman. And I ran Nicole. back making sure I didn't miss the Nicole Kidman she intro for the like, AMC. I don't. Okay, Nicole Kidman, Pretty Woman, right? Yeah. Who was in charge of, of her hair? Or her hair. Her hair looks <laughs> the terrible. Setting? It looks fried. She walks. It's supposed to be like she walks. This is not about the movie. She walks in the theater and she's in like. There's like these chrome pillars around her, like numbers of the theaters. I'm like, why is she like in the SpongeBob future chrome future? It's like, just it, not a very commercial. It's a terrible Maria commercial. Maria Menounos, we like her. We love Maria Menounos because yes. we have no idea who she is. She's the lady who talks to us before the movies. But what does she do? She's Greek. <laughs> My dad tells me that every time. He's like, did she you know she's Greek? Do you know she's Greek? But it was. Oh, there was something else I wanted to say about. Oh, the way that they show like how much. Ah, ah. There we go. But the way that they show like how they drift apart is really impressive. Mm -hmm. But they also show like the um, the almost nothing attraction they have to each other, because like they're with like he only loves her as a doll. 
He doesn't actually love her as a person. He dresses her he up. He literally dress. There's a whole scene where he's dressing there her are up. Multiple scenes where he tells her. What like, to don't wear this. Don't wear this. Yeah, and she he's stops dyeing her hair at the end too. I didn't notice that. Yeah, it's brown. But it, she's an object for him to desire, and he also is an object for her to desire. Because I don't think she actually loves him. If you asked her, like, what do you love about Elvis? She'd probably be like, I don't know. So, I think, one, she's enamored of him because she was a teenager mm -hmm. during the Elvis years. Yeah. And, uh, like, she's 14. Yeah. And sure, she loves um, him like a 14-year-old loves an idol. Another thing, he made her feel like he needed her. Yes, he manipulates her that way. Yeah. He's Which like, is a common oh, tactic like, among sexual only, predators. Like, you're the only one I can talk to. No one else is like you. Like, my mom died and, like, she would have liked you. Mm hmm And I'm sad. That kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, she even, like, there's even a part in the movie where she's having an argument with her mother because her mom's like, you can't date this old this, guy. This geriatric <laughs> you're, man. You're supposed to be a 10th grader. <laughs> <laughs> and so... <laughs> Um. Oh, but she was like, "Oh, he, he's not like that. He needs me. He needs me. Like, yeah. and it's it's so desperate on her end. I think to convince her mom and herself. Like, I I don't think she believes that because she, she doesn't really comprehend that idea because she's fourteen. I don't think she's don't or think fifteen or whatever. I don't think that she disbelieves scene. it. I think it's just that like. No, no, I don't think she disbelieves it. She doesn't she, understand. She doesn't. It. She's not interrogating it because she's a kid. Mm hmm. Yeah, and, and like, she. You're kind of allowed and supposed to feel that way as a teenager, but you're supposed to feel that way with other teenagers, not adult men I in still... the U.S. military. <laughs> <laughs> Grown men who are like, God, it's just the way he just screws with her the entire movie just pissed me off. Like, mm -hmm. he's abusive. Like, he never, this is a really small detail, but whenever he comforts her, he doesn't hold her. He grabs her. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to demonstrate. Well, he would like, but he just like grabs he her like, arm. He swallows her. Because he's so big. Yeah, but no, but I like, I mean, it's like, there's a scene where he, like, throws a chair. And yeah. instead of coming over to her and, like, oh, how are, like, I'm sorry, like, and he's trying to come, he gra he always grabs her arm with his entire hand, which. This guy has huge hands. And he's, and he's a big guy, and she's very, and it's just, like, this very intimidating way of, like, going to her. And it almost ends, whenever they're having that little moment, it almost ends with her having to comfort him. Like, it's never really he feels bad for it. It's like, she now has to comfort this man baby because he feels so bad. Like, she has to feel bad because, like, oh, it's my fault. It's my fault he threw Me the chair. Too. I wonder, like, how in control he is of himself. And his business. Because, and... like, not, not so much his business, but, like, when he gets angry, like, sometimes it feels like it's a choice he made. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it to kind of punish her. Like, yeah. when he gets really that's a good, upset. That's a good point, actually. Like, when he gets upset with her when she's like, hey, why are you carrying around love letters in your pocket? From other actresses. And, that's, um, that, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, well, you're going to go stay with your parents. And he starts throwing all of her clothes in a suitcase. And she's, like, crying while taking the hangers off. Mm -hmm. And then he comforts her. And, like... He knew the whole time that he wasn't going to send her to go stay with her parents. Yeah. He knew that he wasn't going to put her on a plane. But he said that because uh, he was angry and to upset her. But then other times, like I think when he threw the chair, I don't think he was thinking so much about her. I think because he was in that scene, he's mad about his music. Yeah, and about like asks, the crappy songs being said. And he asks um, her opinion and her opinion's the same as his. But he's... So he's mad and he throws that chair like almost at her. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's. He only goes. I don't think it's something he's thinking about. No. Yeah. Which makes it worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, he only goes to her for like comfort. Like he mentions yeah, at the movie, I need someone to support some... me. I need someone to do this for me. I he think never that supports makes her though. More sense though, like why it'd be confusing for her mm -hmm. if she's like, because sometimes it feels like it's. Sometimes it feels like he's being cruel, and sometimes it feels like he's he needs help. Yeah. And she's yeah, she's effectively his fun. mother figure. <laughs> yeah, like he says, "Oh, my mom dies," and she immediately replaces his mom. Mm -hmm. I asked yeah. this at some point in the movie. I'm like, "What did his mom look like? Oh, yeah, what yeah. mommy issue is he is 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 this?" Because I I really wondered that the whole time. But oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, the, um, the way he controls her that this man. Oh god, it's so infuriating. Because like you know that she has like no real way of of, of escaping and she 
Uh, Coppola she's frames 78. this. She doesn't look 78. No, nah, she looked pretty good. Yeah. But Coppola really frames just the, the way that oh, wow. she's Priscilla's they did a, trapped they in this. They did a great job casting. God, they, they look, look so, so similar. But Priscilla's trapped in like this little walled garden that she's in. Like she's in this, I, in theory, ideal paradise. And that's what Elvis keeps telling her. Like, you have everything a woman would want. You have everything that you would desire. But like, she doesn't. Like, oh, you have toys and gifts and food and fun and a pretty house but she can't leave she can only go where she's told she has to ask permission for everything in her eyes she has to at least like she's trapped in this environment and whenever she sees the outside world she always sees like screaming fans fun but she's only allowed to participate that with his permission and with him like her entire world view and freedom is framed through this one guy she was 21 when they got married um, well, this is sad. What? You know the daughter, Lisa Marie? Mm hmm She died in January. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, because I knew she was young. a member of the family had passed away. She's 54. And it's... I... What? Oh, I thought you were going to say something. I'm sorry. Yeah. I love you. Um... What else was it? Yeah, no, this is a really good movie, though. I hope that this gets some... I don't know costuming awards or something like there's some really good hair and makeup throughout this entire movie and all the costuming is a plus um mm -hmm. it'd be funny if this guy got nominated for elvis but it'd also be insulting if he got nominated for elvis and priscilla didn't get nominated so they're gonna have to do some politicking here <laughs> they can't nominate him and not her are you looking at comparisons this is one of her next to lana lana del like rey lana. Yeah. yeah yeah lana del rey takes a lot of cues from that era okay what do you think oh, of the different outfits in the movie <laughs> which ones just all the like elvis's different like little show outfits priscilla's like different decades uh, hair and Elvis's stuff Elvis's mom looks like elvis she doesn't look like priscilla okay i thought this might uh, have been like a mommy issue he was imposing on other people her name is gladys yeah no she looks like him all right, never mind. Then there goes my mommy issue theory. Mm -hmm. Did you like Priscilla's out? What was your favorite Priscilla outfit? I liked it when she wore little bows. That was she cute. Does look really good. That looked really cute. Mm -hmm. It's because she's um an ingenue. I'm trying to think. My fa what's your favorite Elvis outfit in the movie? Um, I thought it was pretty funny once he got sideburns and started wearing like the stereotypical Elvis. Sideburns outfits. era Those Elvis is my favorite era. Like but the cape. The cape the is cape? so okay. good. They, um, oh yeah. Music. Not music. Elvis, Elvis music. In One this. Elvis song that he performs like in yeah. his house. Um, yeah, he just that's plays it. it on the piano. That's it. That's it. And I, I don't think the actor sang it because they keep cutting away from him mm -hmm. singing it, which is fine. Yeah. But so there's only one Elvis song, and I'm like. But they do have a concert scene. And it's just like silhouettes of him performing, and he's mm -hmm. got the cape, and it's a great. It's the 2001: A Space Odyssey the theme flare, intro. Um, the flare pants are so funny. Yeah. I love his, uh, the white speed, like, race car outfit he has at one point. That was pretty cool. But I don't know, the, that, like, black v-neck coat he has, too? Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Elvis was one of those people where he could kind of pull off any outfit. Well, he was, um, he was a pretty man. When he was oh, he was, outfit. yeah. But, like, even pretty man can't pull off every outfit. A what? It's a winter. Blue eyes, black hair, pale skin. I did, I, I did not know what that meant. Mm. I learned something new every day. What am I? Am I, I don't think I'm a winter, then. Think so. What am I? Spring? Summer? Autumn? I might be a fall. I might be an autumn. What are you? I think I might be a spring. Mm -hmm. okay. It's like pastels. I don't think I can. Cause, um, you do look good in pastels. Winter is that jewel tones, which work with me. Mm -hmm. But I think that I don't think I can handle a lot of the brighter colors. You do look good in pastels. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> but. Oh, I'm sorry, I burped. Um, I did enjoy the movie, though, a lot. I'd recommend it. I don't know if people are going to be able to see it, though, just because, like, it's getting, like, a semi-limited yeah, release. Yeah. It's weird yeah, how A24 um, does that. It's a good place for movies. Well, we happen to just live next to, like, a good amount of theaters that are pretty well, big. We, we live in a large town. Yeah, so, so we live... Mm -hmm. But even still, like, it's weird that A24 does this, where they give a lot of their movies, like, a week or two. Like, Bo is Afraid, Boo is Afraid, whatever Bo. it's called. It got like two weeks in theaters, and it was a yeah, fall. I still haven't seen it. Oh, I haven't. Is it any good? I, I, I haven't watched it. I was waiting I to watch it with you. Too. Um, for it, it's just an insane weirdo movie. I want to see Lost in Translation again. Yeah, yeah, we can watch it again. 
but um, what was I gonna say? Uh, did to do lighting. All the acting is great from everybody. I hated I Elvis's dad. I love Elvis's house. It's oh, so his house pretty. is so cool. Such I a would, pretty house. I would love if somebody who was an Elvis expert to like see if they replicated Graceland really accurately. I think so. I have no idea because I've never obviously been or seen it. I know it's like a um, you can go like it's like an. The gates are exactly the same. They've got like the gates, the music. The Dolly the Parton song. song at the end was a nice touch. I love Dolly Parton. Who doesn't love Dolly Parton? That's who they should have made a movie about last year instead. Mm -hmm. Instead of Tom Hanks and... Oh, uh, you know who Dolly Parton thinks is her successor? Who? Guess. Uh, it's gonna be someone hilarious, isn't it? Taylor Swift? No. I have no idea. It's a woman about the same age, though. Katie? Katie? Perry? Oh, no. Uh, I don't know. Miley Cyrus. Real? Yes. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> no, I thought about it for two whole seconds, and that makes yeah, sense. She's a she's a good singer. So no, she, she is. Smokes. She should stop doing that. Well, I think she sings better because she smokes. It gives her a better it's range. It's interesting, actually. Sometimes she performs with her sister, and you can hear the difference. Miley the Cyrus has a sister. Yeah, her name's Nora. Oh yeah. yeah. She's kind of insane. <laughs> she um was the voice actress for. Really? Yes. How about that? They always get I the watch, weirdest. I watch like the bonus section. Yeah, Josh like Robert, Pattinson's in that too. Robert Pattinson is in a lot of Studio Ghibli films. Is he? Yeah. As what? He's just in a lot of them. Like he does voices. Kristen Stewart is in uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. I could believe Robert Pattinson was in all this. Oh, you're he right. That would have, work he too. He doesn't have the right coloring. No, the attitude. no. Yeah. But he has the attitude. He has the look. I think. I don't think he could do the accent. No, he could. Yeah. He could I barely do semi-American. I'm not trying to recast him. I think he did a great job. His there. voice, his his inflections. It's perfect. It's yeah, dead it's on, perfect. and he didn't have to become Elvis for three years or whatever it is Austin Butler did, who is probably He's still Elvis. Elvis in private, you know. What? Um, like that's who he was playing. So oh he wasn't yes. Playing Elvis the performer. That's a he was really good Elvis point. You're right. So he was really good about being a person. That's a real. I didn't even think about that because Austin, but like, because the Elvis movie last year was more so focused on like the public figure. Obviously, it did in turn. I didn't see it, but like, it was a lot of like bravado and theatrics. But this one, it's all personal. You never see Elvis perform. We do see that little sequence, but like, we don't see him as the rock star. We see him as Elvis the guy. I guess they have him on TV, but it's a Priscilla movie. Yeah. And like, she was never there. Yeah. And I um. It's really good. I want to watch it again. I definitely will give it another watch when yeah. it comes out. When it comes out on Blu-ray, I'll make sure to pick it up. You're and so pretty. You should take this. You're the pretty one. I am the pretty one. You're the, you're the attention getter. Um, What's that? What? Because you have pretty eyes. You have pretty eyes. I love your eyes. And are you, why do you do this to me? Oh, look at his eyes. I have so eyes. So we both have blue eyes, but his have a little bit of green around the Just the hint of them. It's very pretty. Good. Um... I'd say watch the Elvis movie. I wonder how Elvis fans, like long term, I love Elvis say fans that are gonna respond. Long term Elvis fans are in their seventies. They're hanging out in retirement. Yeah, I know, but they're still gonna watch this because it's about okay. him. Because hear about it. All the Elvis fans last I don't year know saw. Any Elvis fans actually? Like all the old people I know who came because I work in a movie store, so oh, I see a lot of people who come in buy movies. They're like, oh, do you have the new Elvis movie? I saw it. And I really liked it. And so they're gonna be want to see this one because like, oh, cool, another Elvis movie because he's their, you know, he's a rock icon they like i wonder how they're going to respond to this and it's not a bad it's not it's an not anti it's not but like it does either. depict him in a more negative I mean, light than i think some people would like he was an adult man who decided to date a child mm -hmm. which we too he could date a i child? guess slight spoiler but he refuses sex oh yeah he like so he's like i, I think, will not fuck you i think that was kind of a part of the allure for him uh -huh. this idea that she was so young oh, i didn't think about that yeah and he's like i will oh. that's a good point but also like i know elvis was also like even in private people talk about before he was in the army and stuff he was always very religious so but it's weird too because he's out. he's also still dating a child but he also holds like these weird ideas of purity and like mm -hmm. marriage and stuff like that but yeah, he's like, I won't have sex with you. And she's like, please have sex with me. <laughs> I think that's, I, I'm going to watch this again. Me too. Maybe we'll, let's me. go. Yeah, with yeah. me. That's nice of you. Um, we should have a Coppola special. We special. should. We haven't seen Bling Ring yet. We should. You we should. have it, don't you? I have it. I bought it, yeah. so we need to. I mean, we could watch it tonight. We don't have to. We have time. That'd be nice. Do watch. Yes. Hi, Kyle. Is Kyle the only one who watches this? Maybe. Say hi to him. 
Okay.